Hello YouTube, I hope everyone's doing well today. So here's a video I believe of day four. Um, and we made some pretty good progress today. Got pretty far with uh, cutting back the flooring to where we need to start to rebuild the flooring up. Um, and uh, also when we I was done for the day basically, um, took a break for a while and then came back in at night and I uh, got some more stuff done and my fiance came out and gave me a hand after she got home from work and um, we cranked out some pretty good stuff so I uh, hope you enjoy the video I hope you stick along for more videos please make sure to hit that subscribe button for me I really appreciate it uh, like the video hit the like button if you want to get notifications so you don't miss anything ring that bell please and uh, that way uh, you get notified when new videos come out and you can keep following along with us and uh, not miss anything so here it is hope you enjoy I'm gonna be taking off the outdoor shower here Wow, the screws are coming out okay hopefully they continue to and there's no rotted wood to the point that they don't come out we got them out that's for sure but this makes it a lot easier if it's not so rotted that they just spin this is a good thing so far that they're all catching properly. Well, that should be it. Those all the screws. I'm gonna go grab something, a screwdriver to pry on it because the ceiling's actually pretty good on it. So, all right, I've got it all popped loose. Should come out now. I'm probably gonna be replacing this, or at least the assembly, maybe not the whole box, but that's just nasty. I mean, I could clean it up, I'm sure, but I think I'd rather just replace it. Well, everything comes out. With all the lines and everything. Got a little bit of water coming out still. Let's set that down there for now. You see the wood in this is actually not too bad. It's not all rotted, but I'm probably going to wind up replacing it all anyhow. But I wanted to get that off of there because I have this portion that's inside that I still need to get off from the inside of the bathroom. Just to show you, so that's where the shower assembly was for the outside shower so I need to get this piece off to replace the wood that's behind here so that's what I'm going to be working on now just wanted to show you real quick too what I've been doing with all the hardware so I've been basically just putting all the hardware in bags and labeling them um, most of a lot of the hardware is the same but some are different so I've been putting them in these Ziploc bags and labeling them all so that I know where they go um, for the most part I got these here but I know that those are for the speakers up above so um, for the most part I've been labeling everything and stick it in these bags that way I don't get confused with anything I probably gonna be replacing all these or a lot of them because I don't really want to put like rusty ugly stuff back in as I'm replacing and repairing everything so um, you know at least I know what length bolts that I'm going to be looking for if I do decide to replace certain ones and uh, and I'll know exactly where they are so it's a little helpful tip instead of you know screwing them back in spots or just putting them in a pile or whatever um, kind of just a nice little easy way of knowing where everything goes all right so we've been making some pretty good progress here I guess we've uh, torn down this floor I'd say about 80% in the bathroom here uh, I still have to take apart all this framing in the back section. 
um, the rotted wood that's along the bottom and rip up the rest of this flooring here but we're down to the membrane area here um, so that's pretty good and then I also came over here got down to the membrane in this section that's under the bunk and started tearing apart most of this wood here um, basically what I did uh, was tear it apart with my hands mostly I, I put gloves on and this wood was so rotted it just easily just broke apart I grabbed it and peeled up in between the two by fours and peeled it up um, some of this stuff back here as it's starting to get a little better of wood here um, this stuff I used the back end of a claw hammer and I just kind of peeled it up um, it was still very easy to do but uh, it was a little tougher by hand so um, what I'm going to do next is I want to get this hose out of here that runs uh, to the toilet into the water heater um, that's the the hose inlet um, so what I'm going to do is go on the outside now and take the I believe it's three bolts that hold that on and I'm going to pull that assembly out and then uh, and I'm going to have to take off this little line here as well because it's obviously not going to fit through there so I'm going to pull that line off I'm going to take off the bolts and pull the hose assembly out and I'm also going to remove this door so that I can get to this piece of wood here and get that out so that we can put new wood here and I started peeling just a little bit of this back but I'm going to take off at least this section here of wallpaper to see what's back there and see if there's anything that needs to be replaced there um, that wood on the bottom is definitely very bad um, but from basically here up seems to be okay uh, so I don't know if I'm going to just cut a section out or the whole thing. I'm also going to have to expose this wall back here and see what's going on back there. That way, um, you know, if there's anything back there that needs to be replaced, which I'm sure there is, we can expose it and replace that as well. So I'm going to go outside now and do remove that hose and remove that door. So I was thinking I was going to take off this line at that fitting there, but it's pressed and sealed pretty good and I'd rather not disturb it so took off the three bolts to here pull it off and then what we're going to do is we're already started loosening it up but we're just going to take this apart here so obviously a threaded fitting is a lot easier than a pressed sealed together fitting take that off push that back through and we have our line disconnected, so I'm going to just connect it back up here just so that it's together and we know where everything goes. And then I'm going to work on getting that door off. So rather than taking that door off right away, just in case I don't have to, because that eh, wood looks pretty good there and it looks okay here, um, underneath obviously is not okay. Um, and I'm going to be replacing all that, but I may be able to pull everything out underneath that and not have to touch that door and then put everything back in. Um, so I'm not going to take that door off yet. Uh, what I did was took off the piece of wood that went right here that supported the lower bunk. So it would be this piece of wood. And basically there was a series of a few screws that were on the bottom here. Then this little trim piece was on top and I just went with a screwdriver and lightly pried up all the staples pulled it up and there are a bolt here and another bolt here took those out and I was able to grab it wiggle it right out so now what I'm gonna do is cut this section of laminate floor right out and across to here and peel the rest of this back and we're gonna replace this whole entire floor um, so it doesn't really matter, but I want to see what the wood looks like underneath here. I know right about up to here or so roughly is definitely soft and squishy. So you might even be able to see it on the camera, especially right in this area, how it kind of dips down a little bit there. So that's what I'm going to do now is peel all that up.
just how bad that is and how rotted and nasty it is. But it does stop right here. And the rest of this is good where it all definitely feels solid. As soon as you step here, it's definitely a little soft and squishy. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut the wood from here all the way over and we're gonna be replacing everything from right here back. Well, that's where we're at now. Go ahead and make some good progress today. So let's just keep tearing it up a little bit more. Gotta clean this closet up a lot more and um, and then we'll go to the top after and start pulling some two by fours and wood out of here and replacing all that stuff so all right so just for now what I did was I took my circular saw and just cut into here and here across here and across here and I pulled that two by four out, uh, not two by four, but that piece of plywood out. And um, yeah, all these studs, all this wood is definitely gonna have to be replaced. Right here, this piece is pretty solid. Um, so I think we're gonna be okay with this one. Of course, I gotta take out the rest of this and I've gotta go underneath here. Over here is pretty solid under the refrigerator, but where this closet is, of course, is very bad, so. Um, what I'm going to do is cut out the rest of this, make it a little neater, um, and cut that out uh, to expose the rest of this 2x4 just to be sure that that one is good, although it does feel solid and it looks okay. Um, those ones are a lot darker. You can tell they're moist and getting rotted, and um, so I'm going to replace all of those. And we're going to take out the rest of this flooring and all the way underneath here and see what else we got or I gotta take all that stuff too but yeah we're getting there so I've exposed a little more by taking the rest of the plywood off here and um, took a little bit more out of the closet it needs a lot of cleanup but it was kind of tough getting in there but anyhow the um, so right here basically there was a thin piece of wood just like this one right here that went right across and I had cut just beyond that and uh, and the next piece of wood is right about here kind of lines up right here or so with this bench seat so what I'm going to do now is take my sawzall and I'm going to cut across here and uh, and across that side as well along the wheel well and I'm going to cut straight across all the way to here and that's going to give me about two to three, two inches or so away from that other piece of wood. And I'm gonna tie a two by four right up against that one that's gonna go straight under here. And then that's where we're gonna start our new piece of plywood when we do the, the floor. So that'll be the starting point here and the ending point of where all this nasty wood is, of course. And then we'll continue to take this out and form out. Uh, one thing that I'm definitely gonna do that, of course you see, all these pieces go this way so when I rebuild this now I am going to have the wood go horizontal as well as vertical so I'm going to make braces across so that it's better supported and um, I'm going to have more places to tie in the plywood too anyhow so it's um, it's strange how there's nothing underneath all these main supports that go under them to actually support them. You can see right here along the bathroom door, there's nothing there. There's a big gap in between these two pieces of wood. So when I rebuild this this, and I put the wood back together, there's going to be a piece that goes right under that support and it's going to help everything get supported really. And um, so now I'm going to cut this off for now anyhow and I may actually even, I'm going to cut back more of this uh, this old flooring as well and uh, yeah so we'll see you at that point
have it just cut that piece right out so this is right basically like this is how I'm going to set a new 2x4 going all the way across and will actually be underneath this piece now which there's nothing there I mean just the plywood so and a very small thin piece of wood that went along here also so I'm going to put a 2x4 so that it sits here and I'll be able to lay the new plywood flooring right on top of that 2x4 and I'm also going to make some braces coming across here in this section uh, make a brace that comes under this section and probably a couple going across so I'm going to finish cleaning it up get that piece uh, that piece is actually not bad um, so what I think I'm going to do is clean up back here a little bit and just put another smaller piece, not a 2x4, but a smaller piece of wood right up against here. Um, just so some extra support and something else to, because it's a little rotty here, but it's not bad. But I don't want to go all the way across that way. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, just take this off, put a new piece up against this one, because the support is good. This is right where the frame is. And then we're going to put new pieces across here. And slowly start to rebuild the floor a little bit so that um, we can work. Of course, I'm going to replace that piece of wood along there and uh, everything from here beyond. So, made some good progress today. So after I was done uh, ripping out this flooring here and getting it to the point where, um, you know, the bad wood is all out on the, on the plywood and a uh, few of the joists um, I took a big break and uh, went outside with the kids and they swim in the pool and stuff and then after they went to bed my fiance and I came back out here and it is in shambles right now it's definitely a big mess in here I went to the store got some plywood um, got some insulation a few things that we need to uh, start doing the floor uh, just to have the supplies here and ready and um you know i noticed i'm sure you've seen it before that in this closet this wood is all rotted up here so i did have to remove the refrigerator and now the refrigerator is basically just sitting right in the middle of the camper so um it's gonna get messier before it gets better that's for sure but um we're getting there so what i have to do now is remove the rest of this ceiling up here because this is pretty bad and I have to replace all of this wood inside here fortunately this is as far as it goes it's basically right right here where the refrigerator is so the rest of everything else is definitely very good and uh, you can see it's just a mess in here I mean between aluminum shavings that have been here since the camper was built no doubt about it um, all the way to a mouse poop that is on top of the refrigerator so I gotta clean this real well the refrigerator did not work I know I've said that before I'm sure in my other videos but the refrigerator did not work however I'm pretty sure that it's this module right here that needs to be replaced so I may try to uh, just replace that module or get a new refrigerator and uh, we'll see I'm gonna look into that so I um, the refrigerator was pretty difficult to get out there was um, you know, uh, maybe only like 10 screws total, but it was packed in there tightly and it was very heavy. So, um, but we did get it out, managed to wiggle it out and kind of move it with some pry bars and stuff and we're there. So now I have to just start r ripping the rest of this old insulation out, um, in the wood and clean all this up and we'll see where we're at there. But um that's basically it for now that's the video for day number four and uh i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one please like and subscribe thank you very much